Welcome to Jeff's Garage, or my small corner of the garage. This is my main work area. Not really very organized, but I know where everything's at. Sort of. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about my current welding table. <laughs> uh, it's a piece of well patinaed gauge metal. It's been broke on three sides, which is convenient because it lets me slide my ground clamp underneath and get a good ground. Uh, I'm really tired of having this little limited space for welding. It's not bad if I want to weld small stuff, but when I'm working on larger things that I need to fixture up or brace, it simply isn't enough. So I bought a piece of 11 gauge 304 stainless steel from my boss and programmed a pattern of holes and a periphery that could be easily broke into a tabletop, which I took to one of the sheet metal shops that we deal with and they broke the sides for me. And as you can see, I did include a little relief hole. And then I welded up the corners. All right, I'm uh, working on my weld table today. I'm cutting the back legs. And once again, I'm using that uh, salvage four inch, four inch square tube, quarter inch wall. And letting my uh, little hydraulic cylinder work instead of the spring. That's about it for the moment. Well, I've got the uh, back legs cut. And rather than just bore you with a bunch of boring videos of my bandsaw cutting square tube, I put together a little montage so you can see my progression. Enjoy. If you're wondering what that is stuck to the bottom of the table, it's actually one of several cheap Harbor Freight locking pliers that I cut off the lower jaw and ground to fit in the hole. I sort of stole the idea from Keith Fenner, although unlike him, I probably won't be welding nuts to the bottom of the table. And I believe he may have gotten the idea from the strong arm weld table shown on welding tricks and tips. Or is that tips and tricks? Anyway, you get the idea. 